Hey guys, welcome back. I have been wanting to do sourdough bread for over a year now. I bought the stuff, this, off of Amazon. Uh, yeah, it's been at least a year and it's just been stored away in the pantry waiting for me to use because I've been too scared to try it. I don't know what I'm so afraid of. I even thought before making this video that I needed to try a couple of loaves before posting, but I'm just gonna take you along with my first whack at it. My experience level is like Pillsbury Doughboy, <laughs> like opening the can, which I don't even like to open the can because it scares me. That's the skill level I have. Even while I was prepping, I didn't know what leaven was. <laughs> and there was this one video, this guy was like, we're gonna go from starter to leaven. And so I thought he was like saying the levels, like from zero to 11. And I was like, well, where's step one through 10? <laughs> It took me a little while to realize he wasn't saying 11. He was saying 11. Yeah. Yeah, that's that, that's what we're working with, guys. I'm already confused. <laughs> the All the videos I watched talked about, like, grams and how to, like, do your starter. But mine is a dehydrated starter, and the directions are different. So I'm gonna follow these directions, but it's not what I spent my time on learning, but I don't know, maybe, <sighs> whatever, let's just do this. Okay, so I was following the instructions. It said to put the starter in a large mixing bowl, add two ounces of lukewarm water, let it soak for at least an hour, stirring occasionally, then mix in two ounces of unbleached all-purpose flour and two ounces of water. Then it says to cover loosely for and let it rest for approximately 12 hours. I don't know if that means leave it in this big bowl. Every video I saw, they had it in these like cute little containers. I don't know. So I'm just going to leave it in this bowl. Cover loosely. Does that mean like put a towel over it? I don't know. And if my eyes are kind of puffy because it looks like I cried, I did because I cut decided to cut an onion in between <laughs> steps. I don't know. I forgot I was shooting a video, I guess. But anyway, yeah. So I guess I'll just leave it here overnight and then check it in the morning. And the next step, it says mix in eight ounces of flour, eight ounces of water, cover loosely and at rest another 12 hours. Oh, am I supposed maybe I'm supposed to put it in a container. I don't know. Maybe I'll watch another video. Okay, I just checked their Instagram and they did leave it in the bowl. So I'm gonna leave it in this bowl and see how it is in the morning. So I've repeated the process of feeding my starter every night for the past few nights. And the reason I'm doing that is because I ran out of time. I don't have time to do this during the week to make the actual bread. So I have to keep this thing alive until I can do it on the weekend. So I watched a video, I'll link the link in the description. Cause I liked how this lady did it where she just used different jars every time. So she knew exactly how much she was feeding it. So that's what I've been doing. I like it. Not gonna lie, like this is a lot of work. <laughs> it's kind of complicated at first, but once you get the hang of it, well, I haven't actually baked the bread, but I mean like the feeding the starter part, I got that down, but it's really exciting. I named my starter Edgar Allan Doe. <laughs> and every time it's, way more active. I just fed it. So it's going to be more active in the morning. Each morning it's more and more active and it's very exciting. It's like your own little creature, your own, I don't know, but I got to taste this bread because maybe the more I do it, the 
quicker the whole process will be. But right now I'm just like, I should have just bought some. <laughs> So essentially what I've been doing every night, again, from the same video, I have been doing 50 grams of the bread flour, 50 grams of water, and 10 grams of the starter that I did from the packet. And just every night doing that same thing, switching it to the new jar. This isn't like a bread recipe video. It's more like follow me as I go along this journey. So there's a lot of sourdough bread making videos out there. You can watch those. I'm not a pro, but this is what I've been doing. It's been 84 years since I started this sourdough process. <laughs> I'm so over it. I ended up getting some GI issues, was placed on a clear liquid diet for a few days. And so this has been on hold. I didn't want to bake the bread when I couldn't eat, when I couldn't eat it. So I put it on hold. So I've been just keeping it, this starter alive. I took it out of the fridge, kept feeding it, but I'm so over it. <laughs> like I just want to eat this bread. So today's a day, even if I don't get much sleep, because everything is like, oh yeah, easy. But it's like, there's so many steps and you have to let it rise and then put it aside and then do something else and then put it aside and then do something else and then put it aside. And it's like, I'm not a baker. This is not my passion, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to stick it through. My family's so sick of me here hearing me talk about sourdough. Um, but yeah, so my starter is active. I'm going to do the leaven right now so that I can set it aside. <laughs> and then start the process of making the dough that needs to be set aside. Guess what? What? I'm going to make the sourdough bread today. <laughs> I thought that was next year. <laughs> it's been so long, you're so sick of me talking about You've it. You fed that more than me. <laughs> so I have a very active starter. It's pissed. Just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's like, dude, what are we doing here? Like, am I ever going to be bred? <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I found a YouTube video. I'm going to mix 100 grams of flour, um, 100 grams of water, and 25 grams of starter to make my leaven. Do 100 grams of flour. Oh, pass, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> All right, almost 100 grams of water. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm adding 25 grams of the starter. Now this, I'm gonna mix it, and that's gonna be the leaven that's gonna be used for the bread recipe that's gonna make the dough. <laughs> so after this is all mixed up, I'm not done mixing, but um, it's gonna be covered and set aside for 12 hours. Okay. I know, exactly. Okay, Next time I'm just going to buy the bread. That sounds better. All right. So we're going to do the float test. Add some water and see. This looks pretty active. It's been sitting around all day. I wish you could have heard it when I put my the spoon down. I put the camera down. Let me see. Oh, it's a bub. Oh, God. Sorry, I have that phobia. I don't like the circles or the patterns, so <gasps> this is grossing me out. I can do it. I have Gee. many phobias and that's one of them. Call me monk. Oh, wow, this is thick. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, so, ah, according to the YouTube, <clears throat> supposed to be able to do this and it should float. Edgar Allan Doe, you're finally going to serve your purpose in a few hours because this is going to take long. <laughs> now my leaven is ready. Now I can move on to the next step. So I'm going to add 200 grams of leaven, 300, 310 grams of water, some more flour, salt. Then I wrote, I took down notes. <laughs> then I'm going to... Move it around, squeeze it, put it in a lid, 
put it in the oven with the light on for 30 minutes. Brian says that I chose the longest recipe in the history of bread making. We have a trip coming up. We're going to go to Nome for the Iditarod. I am not leaving this thing here. I am moving on with my life. I need to end this sourdough journey. So, okay, enough talking, next step. Mixing all of the ingredients and then I'm gonna use my hand, gonna wet it and finish the mixing. Okay, I've switched to the hand. It is very sticky. I wet my hand, but I don't know. But the video said it's supposed to be sticky. I'm just making sure it's all mixed together. And then I'm gonna put this stickiness into the oven, not with the oven on, just the oven light on, let it rest for 30 minutes, covered. I just wanna keep doing this. I kinda feel like, like I love Lucy when she's like mixing the chocolate. <laughs> there may be a problem with over mixing. I don't know, I was having too much fun. All right, I'm leaving it in the oven for 30 minutes. Okay. I'm not exactly following instructions anymore because I'm having too much fun turning this into a taut ball. This is very satisfying. I don't even care about the bread right now. <laughs> okay, I'm done playing around with it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it back in the oven, cover it, leave it to rest for another 30 minutes. Looks like a burrito. <laughs> also, I don't know why I wasn't talking earlier. I'm just really tired. <laughs> so I'm shaping it. Folding everything in. So I already have my floured protein basket. I don't know if this is how he did it. Uh -huh. Then he said seam side up. So there it goes. It's not the prettiest, but whatever. It says grab a tea towel, cover it, let it rest for 90 minutes. So I've run into a little problem. <laughs> the pot that I was gonna use, or that I am gonna use, has a max high heat temp. I don't have a an official Dutch oven, but the max heat temp for this specific pot is lower than what the recipe calls for. So I think, I mean, I'm still gonna do the bread, but I think I'm gonna have to maybe leave it in more. Cause you know, this process is, hasn't been long enough already. Let's just add to it. I'm so tired. Okay, whatever. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna get this bread done. Okay, I think it looks pretty decent. It did it. It didn't get stuck. I don't know if it's supposed to be this floured. I'll just brush some off. Okay, I have my preheated pot. I'm gonna score this real quick. Oh, everything looks so much easier online. All right, it's in there. I'm gonna get the oven. Okay, I'm gonna take the lid off. Finish baking this uncovered. Look at it, it's beautiful. I mean, it looks like I butchered it. I don't know what design I was doing, but yay, I did it. All right, I transferred it. I'm gonna let it rest before cutting into it. Ta-da! <laughs> mm. mm. I made sourdough, guys. 
It's over. Bleeding. Nope. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, uh, looks good. My, my thousand hour bread. Thousand hours. <laughs> That's pretty good bread. Should I volunteer my services at like dinner parties? Like I can make the sourdough bread. You can bread. auction this. What? <laughs> $1,800 a loaf. <laughs> All right, so I'm editing this video and I realized that I did not mention the times that I was doing the whole baking process and the reason why I was so tired because that bread did not get done until after two in the morning and I had to work the next day. So I pretty much just napped and went to work. If you see in the clips, you can see that I started the process with daylight, then it was night, and when they were all trying the bread, it was day again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you're gonna try this, plan that out. It takes a long time. I will definitely do it again. I appreciate sourdough so much. <laughs> now that when I see sourdough bread, I'm like, wow, a lot of work went into making you. <laughs> try it out if you have the time. It's, it's really good. Um, but yeah, thanks for following along and watching me go through it and complain pretty much the whole time. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.